All right, so to start us off, you are going to have your template, a pencil, and a piece of tracing paper. So I'm gonna zoom you all out for just a moment, okay? And so I'm gonna put my tracing paper horizontally, and what I'm going to do is trace one of each of these templates side by side, okay? So I'm gonna take this, line it up with my tracing paper, use my pencil, trace around it, and we're gonna do the same thing right next door. Okay, so I have two of these. I'm gonna come up with two different designs for printmaking, okay? Using um, just my own interests, creativity, and some line drawings from the packet, okay? I would encourage you all to look through the packet, see if anything sparks your interest, and really, um, I would challenge yourself to use items from the packet and then incorporate your own ideas into them. What's nice about items from the packet is they're already broken down into line drawings, okay? Remember, just like the stamps that we started with, those line drawings are the basis for our printmaking. So we're thinking of things linear, linearly, black versus white areas within our design. And so line drawings are perfect to draw from. Okay, so you're gonna take, once you've got your two uh, templates traced on your tracing paper, I want you to spend some time looking through the packet, okay? Now, the packet that I have here, okay, um, I am actually going to come up with two really quick different designs. Let's see what I want here. Okay. Um, bigger is better for what I'm going to do. So I think I'm going to start, I think this is a pelican right here. I'm going to do one design with a pelican. Okay. And I'm going to do one design, I think with another bird. Um, I have a lot of birds in my own artwork, so I'm just going to kind of build off of that theme. All right. And so I want the pelican. I am going to figure out where I want him on my paper. Okay. And then I am going to spend some time tracing him out. Now, the entire pelican does not fit on my piece and that is okay, right? So I made it large for you all so it would be easier to carve, all right? Now, when I spend some time tracing this, and I'm gonna do this very quickly, you would spend more time on this, but once I trace this in the initial lines for my drawing, okay, like I'm doing right now, I'm gonna go back and make them twice as thick, okay? And I'll explain to you what I mean by that in just a moment, okay? So our original stamps that we did, like I said before, they were a simplified line drawing. And we, before we started carving, we made those lines a little bit thicker so that we could carve around the black line. So remember the black line stays, anything that's white gets carved away. So we need to make the black line a little bit, bo bit more bolder in just a couple moments. Okay, so I'm almost done tracing this guy. And I'll share with you how to pair it with another image. Okay, so take your time with tracing this. Like I said before, I am not. Um, I think if you do this, it'll turn out pretty awesome. Okay, so I'm now going to spend some time making this a slightly bolder line. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I traced all the lines, I traced all the details. Okay, and I'm going to, at this point, go back. Here we go. Go back and make uh, this a little bit bolder. Okay, so if you look at the, the line that I have here, let me see if I can make it, zoom all in. Okay. I'm gonna make it um, twice as thick if I can everywhere okay so really spend some time to make this a slightly more bold line all the way around okay I'm not gonna bore you with that detail I just wanted to share with you how to combine um, create a combined image okay so overall outline should be a little bit thicker a little bit bolder also same thing with details on the inside Okay, you're gonna to wanna to make those something that you can, is a little bit thicker so that you can carve around those white spots, okay? Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pair this image that I have here with something for the background. So right now, this is the only thing I have, okay? So I just have my uh, pelican 
on my tracing paper. And I'm gonna look for some items for the background. I think I'm going to use some of these other things as part of my background to create a design, okay? So I'm gonna use this as part of my background image. You can use other things. You can sketch your own background image, but I wanted to share with you what a combined image could potentially look like. These two items were not on the same paper. I mean, they're two completely different designs and I as an artist in combining them together. Okay. So once I have this completed here, I can then go back and make this more suitable for printmaking, okay, in terms of that line. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Okay, and let's say I wanna trace it again. I want it to make it look like there's one behind him as well. I can totally do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this in the background behind him. Okay, so this is what I have so far, okay. Let's say I want a little bit of one in the foreground right here. I can add that in. Okay. And so this is what I have for my first printmaking design. I would come up with a completely different one. Okay, now the last thing I would do is for these, uh, the plant shapes, I would make those lines bolder, okay? And then the last thing I'm going to do is decide what area is going to be left white and what area is going to be left black, okay? So I could very easily do my background entirely black, okay, and leave these uh, bolder lines with the inside of these areas white, or I could even bold um, or make black these, um, these plants. In fact, I might go that route, okay? So I am going to shade in most of the plant here. I'm gonna leave this little strip of detail, white detail, otherwise it won't look like anything. But for your final, you're gonna want a 60-40 ratio about between um, black to white within your design. This will help your stamp print. It will also make it look a little bit more interesting, I think, when it's done. So see how I'm coloring in certain areas of my design, okay? And getting ready for it to print. So this, even with coloring in this uh, area here with of the plant, it's still not 60-40, but it's getting closer. So the leaves in my design would be black, except for the little strip of white that goes in there. Okay, so your last thing to think about is what is going to be white and what is going to be left black in your design. Okay, so I would do the rest of those. Um, so thing number one is decide on some imagery. Thing number two um, is going to be trace it. Thing number three, make your lines for your design a little bit thicker, okay, so that it prints like the stamps that we did for our warm up. Okay, and then the last part of the process is once you create a combined image or an image from the packet versus the background here, um, start to darken in some areas to create that 60-40 ratio of white area to black area within your design.